All the links to the original posts are given in the description. So now let's head straight to the video. My fiancé is mom probably doesn't know I pay the bills. Is there a tactful way to set the record straight? Some context. My fiancé worked in construction and I work in tech. After we got engaged two years ago we decided to fulfill our lifelong dream and bought an old dairy farm near our hometown. The property needs a lot of work and after buying the land we were short on cash to develop it. My fiancé and I agreed that he could quit working so he can focus on the farm and I would pay the bills. He finds the work very fulfilling and has built the custom home of our dreams. Even on one income we've been able to cover our expenses and have enough money left over to sustainably build. I love my job and have no desire to do more than garden. We are both happy with our arrangement. One thing that irks me though is the truck. I sold my car and used the money on a down payment for a truck so we could transport building materials to the farm. I pay the monthly payment on the truck. My name is on the title. But my fiancé's mom always refers to it as his truck. I can't explain why but it really bothers me. She might believe it's as even though she knows he hasn't been working for a paycheck. But it annoys me that she never uses the plural and always says it's his. I feel like it's childish to say actually it's mine when I bought it to achieve a dream that requires my fiancé. But it makes me feel like my contribution is invisible even though I'm also necessary to this dream. I'm wondering how others would handle this situation, if there's a non-petty way to get my credit too. Now for story 2. I lost my virginity to a guy who ghosted me after that. I lost my virginity to a boy I have known for two years. We have talked about getting intimate, but I never wanted to. He knows that I am not the type of person that is comfortable of getting intimate. He knows that it takes a lot for us to become intimate as I like to make it a challenge. And also he is the one and only person I have kissed with, and I am 20 years old. We have always enjoyed each other's company, so not everything has been about getting close. But about three weeks ago I decided to let him take my virginity, because I thought I was ready, and we have had many deep talks about it, where he has made me more comfortable about it. So we did it, and I have not heard from him since. We still have each other on social media, but we are in no contact. I feel used and embarrassed that I got played, and I feel like a fool. I feel bad about myself, that I put my trust in a person for the first time. Despite all the things he knew about I was so uncomfortable with everything and I for once gathered the courage to do it. How do I get his attention and what is the best advice for me now? Now for story 3. My boyfriend became violent after we started living together. What should I do? Well, I have been in a relationship for more or less 7 years. Everything was great, we had a daughter, but we lived separately until the pandemic. From this we decided to live together and that's when problems began. My boyfriend began to complain to me for every slightest mistake I would make. Truth is that he is a fairly organized person and I am not. I was trying to learn because I didn't have that kind of example in my childhood and I know that living in an organized environment is going to be the best for my daughter. However, every time I was wrong about anything in the house, his responses, his anger, began to become more and more violent to the point of exerting physical violence on me. Two weeks ago, in an argument we had over a dirty dish that I had left in our room. He pushed me and when I hit the wall, I broke my head. He started crying. He drove me to the clinic and said to doctors that I fell and I agreed because I don't want to hurt my daughter with the truth. Until now he cries every time we see each other because he says he loves me and all that. But for me it is impossible to forgive not only the last thing but all the months of verbal and physical abuse I received. I don't know if it's best to report him or try to reach an agreement between the two because my daughter loves him very much. She doesn't know about the abuse and also every time I see him she doesn't accept that I no longer want to be with him. I love him but he is a monster and after this I feel like he could even kill me. I am not from the US so I feel really lonely and haven't told anyone about this his family thinks I fell and think I am sort of a villain for leaving him. Now for the story 4. My husband tells me stupid lies. Would you leave over something so silly? My husband of 7 years is constantly telling little white lies. I asked him about 3 days ago to never lie to me again, especially about stupid stuff BC I can't trust him if he does. That I can never know when he's being serious BC he's always telling small lies. I just found out he lied to me again. A stupid lie. We went grocery shopping two days ago. Yesterday he makes me a snack with something I swore we hadn't bought. I asked him when he got it, and he said during our shopping trip. I say that I don't remember scanning it, and he responded with maybe I did, I don't know. I was left doubting myself BC he wasn't really scanning, and I didn't remember scanning it. I assumed he was telling the truth and I must have scanned it and don't remember. I almost felt crazy. Tonight I find a receipt that had been thrown away and fallen next to the trash can. I look at it wondering the price of something else we bought. When I look I realize it's a receipt I didn't recognize from the same store. It included the snack he served me and some other random items. I look at the dates and it was a day after our grocery trip in the morning before work. I just walked into the room and confronted him. He was asleep, but I was beyond upset, sad, disappointed, and hurt. I straight up asked why he lied to me, especially after our talk about not lying. At first he denied it, but finally fessed up. He said he thought I'd be mad if I knew he bought it which I don't get BC he didn't hide the item, just tried to play it off as if we had decided to buy it. I wasn't mad when I saw it, just trying to figure out how and when. I just don't know what to do about these stupid lies. He's lost my trust. 
I don't think he'd lie about big stuff, but now I don't know honestly. It sounds dumb to leave over this, but I what to do. Now for last story. Girlfriend seems to ignore me when I'm talking about my hobbies, interests. My partner and I share a couple of interests but also have quite a few that the other doesn't have. For example, we are into different music. My partner enjoys a lot of arts and crafts activities. I like hiking, comics, video games and we have different movie tastes. Whenever my girlfriend talks about her interests that I don't share, I'll make an effort to ask questions and be genuinely interested in what she's saying. I've started realizing that this doesn't go both ways. I was talking about a video game I'm excited for coming out and my GF just started using her phone and didn't even attempt to respond. My girlfriend and I were both reading a few nights ago. I was asking her about her book but when I mentioned mine she didn't respond and just picks her phone up again. I spoke to her about how it's starting to upset me that she seems to just start doing other things whenever I talk about my interests whereas I make a genuine effort when she's talking about hers. She asked what I wanted her to do and I just said to actually engage in the conversation, ask questions if she doesn't understand something etc pretty much anything but completely ignore me and use her phone. She said I wasn't being fair. I just said that it hurts when I'm talking about something I'm interested in or excited about and she just ignores me. She just shrugged and said she doesn't know what to say and I'm talking about things and I just repeated that doing anything to actually engage is better than blatantly ignoring me. She just accused me of having a go at her for no reason and starting arguments over nothing. How would you handle this? TLDR whenever I walk about my interests my girlfriend seems to just pick her phone up and ignore me. When she talks about her interests I engage with the conversation. I told her how it made me feel and she just said she doesn't know what to say. When I gave her some ways to keep the conversation going she just said I was being unfair and starting an argument over nothing. How would you handle this? If you like the story hit the like and don't forget to subscribe the channel and thanks for watching.